Question three, um, the grade 12 mathematics paper two from November, 2022, NSC, DBE paper two. Question three is in geometry and analytical geometry question. Okay, we have a diagram with a lot of information. So let's start seeing what we have. A, four, two. Okay, B, six minus four. C, those are all vertices on the triangle. They're points on the triangle ABC. T is the midpoint. Okay, so this is the midpoint. So that means that this, is, uh, this CT and TB are equal to each other. Uh, the equation of the line AC, equation of the line AC is this. So that's AC. A, where is my A? That's AC. We've been given. The angle of inclination is the alpha and the angle alpha. Angle of inclination of um, AB. The triangle DCT, DCT is drawn, uh, we have parallel lines, CD parallel to AB, and the lines AC and DT intersect at S, so there's a point of intersection at S, and the y-intercept of AC, uh, which is the y-intercept of the blue line AC. P, F, and R are x-intercepts, Okay, so we have x-intercepts given. So let me read this. Up in, oh, no. That's all our information. That it, No extra information has been given. Number 3.1.1, calculate the gradient of AB. Gradient of AB. Right, so straight away we know we have, we have A and B. So A is 4, 2. And B has been given six minus four. So we can just sub in our gradient formula. Um, the gradient uh, is shown by a small letter M is Y2 minus Y1 all over X2 minus X1. This gives us our gradient. So our M is, we can, if we start on A for two and we go towards B, which is six, four. So whichever one you start on, you got to start. Um, oh, what happened there? Y one. Okay. So whichever one you start on. So if we start on A, if we start on Y one, so it could be two. Then we want to make sure we do two first and if we started on a we need we need to start on point a again so those are x's okay oh well, anyway what it comes down to is two minus minus four uh, divided by four minus uh, six four minus six positive six and this equals six over six uh, minus minus four is plus. So two plus four over two, negative two, four minus six. And that equals negative three. So the gradient of the line AB is negative three. Question 3.1.2 wants the size of A. So A is the angle of inclination of AB. And we know that angle of inclinations um, are given by tan theta equals m. And from the previous question, we have our m. So we can say, well, tan theta is definitely going to be equal to minus 3. And then we can say, if we take tan to the other side, so the inverse tan, tan to the minus 1 of negative 3 is our theta, which is our angle a. So theta is a. A is equal to um, just a little bit of calculator work. So this is equal to negative 
five, six, five. Uh, it's this would be a negative because we have a gradients leading to the left is negative. Now, just to note now, we're not finished in angles of inclination because it's given us um, what it's given us is actually this. So this is incorrect here to say this is, we're not on A yet. We're still working with theta. Um, what tan theta gives us is the positive. So usually it'll give us the positive angle of the x-axis. So the positive, the positive angle of the x-axis is what tan theta will give us. So this, so this we use tan theta equal to m. But, uh, so as you can see, what we've asked the calculator to do is to give us a negative angle of an x-axis. So we've, we've given it a negative gradient. Um, what that means is it's given it this way around. So it's actually given us this side. So there's just one last step we want to, we've got theta and here we have a straight, we have a straight line. So the last step is you just take 180. The reason I put this negative in brackets is because you're not going to minus it sort of twice like we did with the gradient formula. It's just to say that negative shows you that it's coming coming from this side. It's it's coming um, it's coming up from the left. Where normally our theta would come up from the right. So so because it's a positive angle. So that's what that's showing. And then you take. 180 minus the theta because uh, it's on a straight line. So 71.565. Uh, hopefully you've stored that as an ons to get a very accurate answer. And this will give us our alpha. Our alpha will be 108.44 degrees to two decimal places. Number 3.1.3 asks for the coordinates of T. T is this midpoint it was given. So it's the midpoint between CB. So we can use the midpoint formula straight away because we've got C and we've got B. So we can straight away just use the midpoint formula. So T um, is going to be equal to X1 plus X2 all over two semicolons. This is an actual point, the, giving the actual point, we can even write it a bit more accurately like this. Okay. Y1 plus Y2. So the, the two Ys, uh, the distance between the two Ys halved and the distance between the two X halved. It's exactly what where T is going to be. Um, so again, the same as we did before, you need to just make sure if you start with C, you start on C. And if you, oh, actually, Oh, this one, nah, this one won't matter because it's plus. This one order won't really matter. Okay, so we have x1 plus x2. Let's start with minus two plus six all over two. And we could do minus three plus minus four all over two. That's our t. Um, this minus zero was we're going to have four over two. So um, min four over two is two. And on this side, we have minus seven because so plus minus four is minus four minus three is minus seven. Minus seven over two. Minus seven over two. And that's our T. Number 3.1.4, calculate the coordinates of S. Um, S is our y-intercept of AC, of line of that blue line, which was given, I remember we, we had it highlighted there, 5x minus 6y equals to 8, highlighted in blue. So that's already useful information. So let's see if it's the y-intercept of that. We can just let x equal to 0. Just let x equals fits. Uh, grab that up. So, 5x mm, minus 6y equals to 8. Let 
x equals zero, that will give you your, your y-intercept. So that's a y, oopsie daisy, sorry. Okay, so it'll just be simply eight, this any five times zero is zero, minus six y equal to eight. So divide by minus six on both sides. That cancels out. Y is equal to eight over minus six, which is equal to minus four over three. We're not completed yet. We ask for the ask for the actual point S. So we need to give the coordinate. And our x was zero because the uh, y-intercept and minus four over three is point S. Number 3.2, determine the equation of CD in the form y equals mx plus c. Well, CD is over here. It was given that CD is parallel to AB. We already have um, the gradient of AB, which is minus three. So MAB equals minus three. And we know that parallel lines, the gradients are the same. They have the same slope. So MAB is equal to MCD uh, because um, CD is parallel to AB. This was given. Therefore, the gradient of CD must be minus three. So, so far we have this, it puts minus three, the unknown has been, uh, the M has been solved, but we still have a parameter that needs to be solved is C. So um, we need some sort of X, Y point to sub in to solve for C and we can use point C. Point C here is on the line CD, so that will work. And just put sub point C. So wherever you see a Y, put minus three. Minus three times uh, negative two plus C. We're subbing our point C um, minus two minus three. Okay. Solve for C, so minus three is equal to minus three times minus two is positive six plus C. And then we minus six on both sides to get minus nine is equal to C. Our final answer, Y equals three X minus nine.